Finish. Wag mo muna, wag mo muna i-finish, i-save mo muna para meron kaming 'di ba pag i-finish may save. Ayun. So today in your life, are you willing to continue your life together in a marriage relationship with this young man? Yes, I do. Yes. And in your life, are you ready to 
continue it in a relationship as a married couple with this young man? Is that a yes? And are you willing to take that love that you're going to give to this young man as a married couple and be with him in sickness and in health? Forsake all others. Be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live and give him one week in a month with all the friends. Of course, it's an extra 20 we'll get done. Yes. <laughs> and of course, as you journey in life's highways together, I can tell that he's a little bit more sharp dressed. You know, and guess what? Cool days. You're willing to allow him to have a shopping spree for shoes and clothes once every six months? Hey, here we go. Are you willing to continue your love that you have for this young man in life as a married couple? Yes. Be with him in good times and bad times. Yes. No other relationships. Be faithful to him only for as yes. long as you both shall live. Yes. And today, repeat these wonderful words as a couple. Y'all join hands. Dr. Elm, are you ready to take Siren as your husband in marriage? Yes. And are you willing to take that love that he's willing to share with you and always love him, comfort him? with him in sickness and in health. Forsake all others. Yes. Be faithful to him for as long yes. as you both shall live. Yes. Then repeat after me. I, John Rowe. I, John Rowe. Take you, sir. Thank you, sire. To be my partner in life and marriage. To be my partner in life and marriage. Always love. Always love. Cherish and honor. Cherish and honor. Be with you in sickness and in health. Be with you in sickness and in health. And have nobody else but you. Nobody else but you. So love. I sign and take you to John. Repeat after me. <laughs> I sign. I sign. Take you, John Brown. To be my partner in life and marriage. To be my partner in life and marriage. To always love, cherish, and honor. To always love, cherish, and honor. And honor. be faithful to you for as long as we both shall live. <laughs> and to be faithful to you. For as long as we both shall live, for as long as we both shall live, shall live. So help me God. And you'll need all the help from God you can get. Trust me, it's a handful. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. I read people. Body language. That's why I put him to the left. Because I'm a kid. <laughs> See, I was in the Marine Corps. Now, y'all chose a very beautiful. I want you to look at these rings. And I want you to always remember, a ring is a symbol. We have a lot of symbolism in life. But these rings symbolize more than just a commitment that's unbroken. It's going to be purity and strength. Because in your marriage, as a married couple, you're going to face the fires of life. Just like these precious metals were placed in fires. They were strengthened. They were purified. In your life together as a married couple, you'll face those fires. But that fire is to purify your love and to strengthen this covenant, this commitment you make for me today. But also remember, you're opening up your heart and you're inviting each other in. You're making a commitment that in your life, no matter what, you promise to never leave one another. You know, Christ made that same promise. He said, when I die on this cross, I'll give my life for you. And if you accept me, I will never leave you. Guys, that tells us that if we accept Christ, He's willing to enter into our heart, to love us, to cleanse us of any and all sins in life. No matter what the sin is, He loves us unconditionally. And that's what love is all about, unconditional love. In our country, we allow couples, no matter who they are, to live a life as a married couple. And I want you to understand the blessings of God are there for you to take because He's willing to give. And that's the kind of love I want you to experience in that God made love this never end. So, sir, remember, these rings are some the true symbolism of the love and the marriage that you have is the way you live your life. So as you would, if you'll place that ring, cloudy rings, and from your heart, in your own words, express to this young man why you love him.
place that ring on his finger. He busts his knuckles so he knows here. And Filipino. You speak Filipino? Yeah. In Filipino. Expressing him your love and I'll translate it. Do you understand Filipino too? Oh, so you understood, like I did, that you're going to pick up after him and you're going to make sure you don't leave dishes in the sink. You're going to put them in the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make sure you understood, I understood what he was saying. You know, it doesn't matter what language you speak in this world because every culture has different traditions and different languages. But we have to communicate. I mean, sometimes we cannot understand the verbal communication. But that's equally important because there's another form of communication that we can all communicate with. And that's the physical touch. Because as long as you touch, you talk. As long as you talk, you touch. It's, it's important. It's more important in a marriage relationship than anything else. So can I encourage you to remember, if you stop one or the other, the other should have followed. And that means we don't want that to happen. So will you always promise as a family, no matter your life, I encourage you to pray to God and see God's wisdom, courage, guidance, and strength. Because a family that prays together does stay together. You will face challenges beyond any of the norm. But you have God's blessings. You truly have blessings. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your love and your blessings. I pray upon this young couple. Our country is our country. You have blessed our country richly. Today, I just pray your blessings upon this man. These men that are standing here today, that you will be with them in their journey to adventure in life together. As our country, we will allow couples to be a married couple. And today, I pray your blessings upon them. No matter what trials and tribulations they face, may your love protect them, guide them, and be with them. For it's in Christ's name, I pray. Guys, I'm a praying judge. I believe in the power of prayer. Always pray. Always thank God for your blessings. So, with that said, there's a door right behind each other. Last chance to run. Take one last look, because that's what you're waking up to for the rest of your life. Look, look, look at each other. Remember, that's what you're going to wake up to. That's what you're going to wake to. Doors are still unlocked. Last chance to run. You want to stick around? Yes. Wrap your arms around each other as I pronounce you a merry couple. And you can sit with the kids. <laughs> Sign this sucker and we'll make it official. Congratulations. Hey, why don't you hold this up and let them take a couple of pictures and get out of the way? You want it to be a good picture. You all have matching hair, not in this <laughs>